Hello, it's Liam Killen. Arturia just released a new bundle of plugins appropriately called three modulations that you'll actually use, which includes a phaser, which is what we're gonna go through today, a flanger and chorus. Download links to all of these are included in the description of this video. You read the title in this video, we're gonna be looking at the phaser Bytron, and I've left a link to the other two videos in the description. The point of these videos is just to give you like a demo slash review. And this is my honest opinion on these plugins. I've reviewed some other Arturia products as well. Video links to those are also in the description. And yeah, check it out if you're on the Arturia a train as much as I am these days. As for the phaser, the phaser by Chan is an elusive dual phaser that oozes boutique guitar pedal charm. Two phasing circuits, advanced routing options, and a warm, distinctly detailed sound that's set to stun. It's a phaser, so ideally this is the type of effect that you'd use on guitar, and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing today. Right now, actually. Here's a little performance of the track that we're gonna be looking at. For anyone who's interested in gear, I perform that on the SP404, which is basically like a lo-fi effects box that I use a bunch. I've also covered it extensively on YouTube. The drums that you hear in this track are from my latest sample pack, which is called LK Meat and Potatoes, also linked in the description. Okay, so let's take a look at this setup. I'm sending a bus out to that phaser effects and the bus mix is completely max, as you can see here. The idea is to break this thing down and show you how I use it, sort of just get a good feel of how it sounds. Here's some foreshadowing though. Sounds great. Okay, so first impression, we've got phaser A, phaser B, and an effects pedal right here. There's a switch right here, so you could go manual mode, in which case you're not using the pedal, or pedal, which is what we're gonna be using for the most part in this video. If you're using the pedal though, it's the type of thing where you'd have to record the automation into the track to actually hear it back. We also have a type of sweeping wave option right here, sine, ramp, square. And if you're in manual mode, you have an option of either rhythmic sweeping or you could go manual and just go freehand. But we're gonna go back to the pedal. So you're losing some gain there. Phaser B sort of just does its own thing now and we'll look at that in a bit. Also a little tip about the pedal, this might just be my own taste, but I find there's like a sweet spot around 70 to 80%. You can see here that if you push it to 100%, that sweeping rate is, is happening really fast. So it's almost hard to notice that it's happening. 70 to 80%. Each phaser has two depths along with feedback. So these three knobs here along with the bus end, you have a lot of control. You could go as subtle or as intense as you'd like. On the virtual pedal itself, we also have an envelope where you can change compression, input, attack, release, delay. Let's take a look at the routing next and I'm also gonna introduce phaser B. The default routing is stereo serial, where you can see that phaser A and B are connected. Just like regular phaser pedals, phaser B has a really big effect on what's happening with phaser A. I'll change phaser B to a square wave just to demonstrate what I mean. The next one we'll look at is mono parallel, which is a completely different feel. As you'll see, it splits the signals left and right. I wanted to quickly mention one other plugin that I'm using in this video, and that's Native Instruments Audio Degradation Suite, which is a VHS emulator. I use this a lot, and it's actually currently on the master bus, which is what gives it that sort of early 90s VHS lo-fi flavor, which I've been super into these days. I just wanted to show you the difference that it's making on this track, check it out.
It definitely cuts some of the high end, but gives it that, ugh, that extra beef. Here's a link to a video where I go more in depth on this plugin. I wanted to make a video giving a general sense of how to use Arturia's Phaser Bitron. Give this video a thumbs up if you're into it. Maybe even drop a follow, share. There's definitely a lot more content like this coming up. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section. I'll make sure to get back to all of you guys. I have videos going through all three of modulations you'll actually use, the Arturia bundle. So if you're interested in checking out the other two, I've left link to those in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.